All right, for number 35, um, at the end of week one, a stock had increased in value from $5.75 a share to $7.50 a share. Uh, find the percent of increase at the end of week one to the nearest tenth of a percent. Okay, so uh, this is the first part of the problem. Let's just focus on this, um, and then we'll, we'll tackle the, the second part a little later. Uh, so percent increase, um, just uh, just like relative error, really. So um, percent, uh, let's see, percent uh, increase uh, is equal to uh, the final price of the stock minus the initial price, okay, where it started out at, uh, divided by the initial price. Okay. So um, the stock ended up at uh, $7.50. It started out at $5.75. Okay. We want to see um, what proportion that changes of the original price. Okay. So you know, um, just go into a calculator, calculator 7.5 minus 5.75. Uh, and divide that by 5.75 and um, to the nearest tenth of a percent. Okay? So what we get out of the answer is um, 0.3043 um, and a bunch of numbers afterwards. Okay? So changing this to a percent, this is 30.4%. Okay? So the percent increase uh, from uh, week one to the end of week one was 30.4%. Okay, so not a bad increase. Okay, now let's look at the second part of the question. Um, at the end of week two, the same stock had decreased in value from 750 to 575. Um, is the percent of decrease at the end of week two the same as the percent of increase at the end of week one? Uh, justify your answer. Um, so uh, after the second week, it fell back to its original price. Now this is uh, a very common question when it relates to percents, and um, the answer to this question is no. Um, and we're going to see why in a second. Uh, so percent increase and percent decrease are always calculated from where the price or where the value started. Um, so just because it increases by amount and then decreases by the same amount doesn't mean the percent increase and percent decrease are the same. So um, so let's uh, let's look at uh, you know percent decrease here. Okay, and um, I mean it's the same kind of calculation. De decrease is uh, going to be negative. Um, it's still final minus initial over initial. Okay, So this time um, the in final price is uh, 575 and it started out week 2 at um, 750. Now here's the difference between this and uh, the first calculation we made. The first calculation we divided by 575 because 575 is where it started. Um, Week two, though, it starts at a price of 750. So we want to look at you know the change relative to seven dollars and fifty cents, and that's why this value is going to be um, different from the value we calculated in the first part. Okay, so um, if we do 5.75 minus 7.5, uh, and divide that by 7.5, uh, we find out that this is a uh, um, on the calculator, this comes out to be negative 0 0.23, and the 3 is repeating. So um, this is a percent uh, decrease of 23.3%. Um, okay? So remember what we got in, um, in the first part, which was 30.4%. Okay? So uh, these are different values. Uh, now, just one final note. Um, just doing those calculations is probably not enough to get full credit for this uh, for this question. Um, every time you see uh, justify your answer uh, in a problem, you usually have to write something. Um, 
And I know some of you are rolling your eyes, you have to write in math, but yeah, you do have to write down your reasoning here, and just showing calculations is probably not enough. I mean, if you want full credit, write down your answer. Um, so for this, uh, you know, how would you answer the question, um, is the percent of decrease at the end of week two the same as the percent of increase at the end of week one? Um, and uh, I would say uh, no. Um, and uh, the reason I would give would be um, the, uh, the percent increase and decrease are calculated from different Uh, initial values. Okay? So in the first case, uh, the percent increase is the percent of $5.75 that increased. In the second case, it's the percent of $7.50 that decreased. 